Temriel. A continent of diverse peoples and landscapes set in a world of magic and chaos. It is here where our stories shall be set. In the northern reaches. In the kingdoms of Skyrim, where the lands are gripped in an ever winter, shall our stories be told. It is here where nightmares come to life and legends shall be born. For these are the tales of Skyrim. Don't let it get out! Sentries, what do you see? Our tale begins here, with young Bjorn and Windcaller, a Nord by birthright. A hard life and a lack of authority had found young Bjorn in the hands of the Imperial Legion when he was caught trying to smuggle artifacts into Cyrodiil. He was taken to Helgen, where he met the famed Ulfric Stormcloak, You're that visitor, and fate would Pokemon. deal him a new chance at life. After surviving the dragon's attack, Young Bjornin was determined to take advantage of this new life he had been given. After awaking in the Sleeping Giant Inn, all that remains for Young Bjornin to do before he heads out on his new life is to stop by the local trader. Well, one of us has to do something. I said no! No adventures, no theatrics, no thief chasing! Well, what are you going to do then, huh? Let's hear it! We are done talking about this! Oh, <clears throat> a customer. <laughs> Sorry you had to hear that. Maybe you could talk some sense into my pig-headed brother. Yeah, well, I don't know what you over... The Riverwood Trader is everything you need in a general store. Did something happen here? Uh, yeah, we, we did have a, a bit of a, a break-in. but we, we still have plenty to sell. Robbers were only after one thing. An ornament. Solid gold in the shape of a dragon's claw. I could help you get the claw back. You could? I've got some coin coming in from my last shipment. It's yours if you bring my claw back. Going to get those thieves, you should head to Bleak Falls Barrow, northeast of town. Yes. So now you don't have to go, do you? Oh, really? Well, I think your new helper here needs a guide. Well, no, I... By the eight, fine. But only to the edge of town. We have to go through town and across the bridge to get to Bleak Falls Barrow. You can see it from here, though. The mountain just over the buildings. Those thieves must be mad hiding out there. Those old crypts are filled with nothing but traps, trolls, and who knows what else. I wonder why they only stole Lucan's Golden Claw. I mean, we have plenty of things in the shop that are worth just as much coin. Lucan found the claw about a year after he opened the store. He never quite explained where he got it. He's a tricky one. This is the bridge out of town. The path up the mountain to the northwest leads to Bleak Falls Barrow. I guess I should get back to my brother. He'll throw a fit if I take too long. <laughs> Such a child. Mara bless you for agreeing to help us. How much further do I need to walk? Well, it's a winding road up the mountain just ahead. You'll know you're in the right place once you spot the old watchtower. Once you get to the tower, head north. Bleak Falls Barrow should be just around the corner further up. 
Good luck. Lucan and I will be waiting for you back in the shop. Many strange thoughts whelmed within Bjornen as he turned and walked away. This was not a role he would typically fill. He was not quite certain why he had volunteered to help the young trader and his sister. But the one thing he could not deny is that it felt right. The young Windcaller did not have far to travel before he found the watchtower of which Kamala had spoke. As he drew close to the tower, an uneasy feeling set in. Something was not right. Something was out of order. Consumed with bloodlust, Bjornen continued the attack. He rushed up the stairs, charging through the tower, his blood pumping. He would not let his guard down. He would not be taken by surprise again. The warrior in him has risen. Young Bjorn and Windcaller could handle himself, that was to be certain. He had taken lives before in self-defense, but never like this. He had initiated combat with those bandits, and it felt good. He now had to battle those emotions. The young Moya had made short work of the bandits defending the entrance to the Bleak Falls Temple. And as he entered the temple, his blood began to boil. Thoughts of his previous battles raged in his mind. 
Something had been unleashed within him. A fury he had not known before. I can do that. Bjorn and carefully approached the body. He could not be certain if it was one of the bandits or a would-be trespasser or possibly an adventurer who just stumbled upon this group. When he stumbled across the lifeless body of the dead Skeever, it was clear to him what had happened. There were definitely Skeever bite marks on the body, but the killing blow was made by a dagger. These thieves had made use of the attack, then their numbers, and grow their profit. Bjorn and searched the Bannon camp and examined the body upon the altar. These thieves had definitely killed their own to increase their profit. This made him sick. These were the worst kind of scum. He had been a thief at one time, though not very good at it. But he had never killed for the sake of killing and for the sake of Prophet. As he delved ever deeper into the caverns, his mind raced, bouncing between thoughts of the previous days. He had never stopped to fully consider how lucky he was to survive Hogan. Spotting another bandit, he quickly readies his bow. Hoping for a quick, stealthy strike. But it seemed it was unnecessary. For the room ahead had been trapped, and the bandit had walked right into it. Bjorn and Windcaller scanned the room, looking for pieces of the puzzle. There had to be a way to get through this gate. That's it, he thought. The pillars have to match those statues. He quickly set about facing the pillars in the right direction, making sure the diagrams matched the ones above. He held his breath and pulled the lever. Young Windcaller would leave no stone unturned as he searched for the Golden Claw. He could hear the skeevers skittering up the steps. He readied his bow, but he did not anticipate their vicious sight. this little alcove, he began to realize he was settling into his new role rather easily. Maybe this is what he was meant to do. He, be 
began to realize that when this is over, there was not much of your future ahead of him. Where would he go? What would he do? He definitely did not want to go back to his days of being an outlaw. Must be another bandit. He admitted he had the claw. It was now within the young warrior's reach. Before Bjorn would help, he wanted to ensure that there were no surprises lingering in this cavern. You! Over here! You did it! You killed it! Now cut me down before anything else shows up! Where's the claw? Yes, the claw. I know how it works. The claw, the markings, the door in the Hall of Stories. I know how they all fit together. Help me down and I'll show you. You won't believe the power the Nords have hidden there. Hand over the claw first. Does it look like I can move? You have to cut me down first. It's coming loose. I can feel it. You will. Why should I share the treasure with yeah. anyone? You fool. Stop. Bjorn had almost wish he did not have to kill this wretched bandit that he had just handed over the claw. But there would be no such luck. Not on this day. The young Nord searched the body and finally had in his possession the golden claw. But little did he know his journey was just about to begin. Bjornan had found a journal on the dead bandit's body. He peeled back the leather cover and read. My fingers are trembling. The golden claw is finally in my hands, and with it the power of the ancient Nordic heroes. That fool Lucan Valerius had no idea that his favorite store decoration was actually the key to Bleak Falls Barrow. Now I just need to get to the Hall of Stories and not knock the door. The legend says there is a test that the Nords put in place to keep the unworthy away. But that when you have the Golden Claw, the solution is in the palm of your hands. It would appear that there was much more to this than Lucan had told. Bjorn could not even be sure that the store owner was aware. But he had to find out. 